Before we dive into today's fascinating topic, we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell so you catch all our future videos. Alright, let's get started. Battery technology is advancing at an astonishing pace, so much so that sometimes it's difficult just to keep up. But among all the innovations, one development currently drawing significant attention is from CATL, which claims to have engineered a sodium ion battery with a production cost of only about $15.15 per kilowatt hour, a striking contrast to lithium ion batteries, which today hover around $110.120 per kilowatt hour for something like a Tesla 4680 pack in 2022. That magnitude of cost reduction is nothing short of revolutionary. So, what makes this new sodium ion battery so inexpensive and what other advantages as well as limitations come along with it? Let's explore. The economics, why sodium might beat lithium on raw cost. One of the core claims behind CATL's new battery is that sodium is abundantly available, far more so than lithium. Sodium makes up around 2-3% of Earth's crust and is over a thousand times more plentiful than lithium. From the perspective of sourcing raw materials, that offers major leverage. For instance, the recent price for lithium carbonate has reached something like $570,000 per ton, whereas sodium carbonate can be bought for under $3,000 per ton. In other words, on a per ton basis, sodium is about 190 times cheaper than lithium at the moment. CATL also argues that sodium ions offer better ionic conductivity relative to lithium in certain electrolyte formulations, meaning that you can use a lower concentration of expensive electrolyte salts, significantly reducing material costs. They claim that lowering electrolyte concentration could cut cost by around 85% compared to what a lithium battery would require in that component. These two factors, the dramatic raw material cost differential and the ability to use less or cheaper electrolyte, underpin their assertion that they can hit that remarkably low $15.15 .15 per kWh number. To give a sense of scale, take a Tesla Model 3 standard range which might carry a 50k WH battery, with a lithium battery priced at, say, $110 per kWh, the battery pack alone would cost around $5,500. But with CATL sodium technology, that same 50k WH pack in theory could cost roughly $757, $50 times $15.15 .15 an order of magnitude lower cost, that is the kind of disruptive potential this technology promises. Range integration and hybrid approaches. Of course, cost is only one piece of the puzzle, a battery that's cheap but performs poorly won't make much impact. On the metric of energy density, how much energy per unit mass or volume, sodium has historically lagged behind lithium. But CATL is attempting to mitigate that with hybrid systems and smart integration. In pure sodium ion form, CATL suggests that their battery can support vehicle ranges of up to approximately 248 miles, roughly 400 km, in practical usage. But their real play is a blended system of sodium plus lithium, letting the two chemistries complement each other. This OB battery system integration allows them to boost the overall energy density of the battery pack by combining advantages. Sodium for lower cost and better cold performance, lithium for higher energy density. With such a hybrid system, CATL claims that electric vehicles could achieve ranges of up to 310 miles, approximately 500 km. For comparison, a Tesla Model Y using 4680 packs is often quoted at a 279 mile range in some configurations, suggesting that this hybrid approach could outdo that under certain assumptions. So far, this suggests that sodium will not outright replace lithium in all segments, especially in high-end, long-range vehicles, but that for mid-range mass-market EVs, a sodium-oriented solution or sodium-augmented hybrid might capture a large share of demand. Charging speed and low temperature performance Another area where CATL claims an edge is in charging speed. Their data indicates that their sodium ion cells can reach 80% state of charge in just 15 minutes at room temperature. That's significantly faster than many lithium-based fast charging experiences. For example, a Tesla Model Y might take about 32 minutes to go from 0 to 80% on a public fast charger, more than twice as long as the sodium claims. If the technical claims hold up under real-world conditions, that's a major competitive advantage. 
Temperature sensitivity, especially cold weather performance, is a vexing weakness of many lithium systems. Lithium-ion batteries tend to operate optimally within a narrow window often sited around 15 C to 35 degrees C, and their performance in terms of capacity and deliverable power can degrade significantly in cold climates. CATL asserts that its sodium ion version retains around 90% of its capacity at 20 degrees C and still holds more than 70% capacity at 40 C above zero. If accurate, this means EVs using sodium ion could be significantly more reliable in frigid environments. The freezing start problem that sometimes debilitates EV adoption in winter climates could be less of an issue. Safety and cycle life. Safety is often a major concern when introducing new battery chemistries. The operation of sodium ion shares some conceptual parallels with lithium ion. Ions shuttle back and forth between cathode and anode during charge and discharge cycles. But there are differences. Sodium ions are larger in radius than lithium, and that imposes greater demands on structural stability of electrodes and the kinetics of ion transport. This size difference has historically been a bottleneck for commercialization. However, CATL claims to overcome many of those challenges. For one, they assert that sodium ion batteries are inherently safer and less prone to thermal runaway than lithium ion. They also incorporate a naturally fire extinguishing electrolyte solution that remains stable across temperature extremes, allowing operation at higher voltages without compromising safety. One key enabler is an ultra thin stable protective film solid electrolyte interface, say, forming on the anode. That ultra thin layer is said to be stable once formed, which helps reduce degradation over cycles and leads to long cycle life. Even so, we should caution that while these claims are promising, real-world long-term testing under many cycles, stress, and abuse remains essential before declaring sodium ion as mature and reliable as lithium ion. Limitations and challenges No technology is without trade-offs, and sodium ion batteries have one widely acknowledged shortcoming, lower energy density compared to advanced lithium ion formulations. In practical terms, a sodium ion battery of the same size and weight as a lithium ion battery would typically store less energy, thereby reducing the driving range. That's why sodium is less likely to displace lithium in ultra long range or premium EVs, at least in the near term. ZATL's first generation sodium ion cells reportedly deliver around 160 WH/kg. For context, many current lithium ion cells are in the 200-300 WH/kg range depending on chemistry, cell format, and materials. CATL is already working on a second-generation sodium ion variant, with a target of 200 WH-kg, putting it closer to the lower end of lithium's range. While this still may not match the best lithium ion densities, it does represent meaningful progress. And since lithium ion technology has also improved continuously over the past decade, sodium ion is engaged in a moving race, not a standing one. In real-world usage, CATL suggests that first-generation sodium cells will be well-suited for many transportation and energy storage applications, especially in regions where cold weather performance is critical and cost constraints dominate. They envision sodium ion powering everything from passenger EVs to grid-level storage systems. Timing and market prospects Even though laboratory advances can be exciting, the path from lab to mass market production is often long. Many novel battery chemistries take 5 to 10 years or more of development, scale-up, reliability testing, and cost optimization before they reach commercial viability. That said, CATL has announced intentions to begin production of their sodium ion batteries in 2023, which suggests that they believe they're at least close to industrial readiness. Once sodium ion shows reliable performance, safety, and cost advantages at scale, it may become a mainstream option for mass-market EVs. In that scenario, lithium ion might remain the preferred choice for premium, ultra long range, or high performance vehicles, while sodium ion captures the bulk of the everyday consumer segment the cars people drive for commuting, errands, and daily use. If that vision comes to fruition, this could be as transformative for energy storage and EVs as the introduction of the electric car itself. So, when might everyday drivers actually start seeing EVs powered by sodium ion batteries? Given the announced timelines and the pace of battery development, it may not be far off, but real commercialization will depend on how well CATL and other developers can prove safety, durability, scale, and performance under real-world conditions. Thanks so much for watching or reading and for supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please drop a like, share with your friends, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. We'll continue bringing you the latest breakthroughs and discussion in EVs, green tech, and battery innovation. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.